Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to update the software on your Samsung Galaxy S3 to Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. Uh, so basically we are going to need a few files from XDA developers. I will put the link in the description below. You are basically going to need to download Odin which is the flashing tool. That's only 500 kilobytes. And you are going to need to download the ROM which is roughly 700 plus megabytes. Um, so if you take a look here, you can see that it is Android 4.1.1. The region is Europe and the country is Poland. Um, so that is sort of the first country to get the um, new um, Jelly Bean update for the S3. That's why we are using the Polish um, version. So now what you need to do after you've downloaded both of the files, you should have two zip files. You are going to need to extract both of the zip files. Then you are going to need to open the Odin file and run Odin 3 version 3.04.exe and you might need to give the program permission to run as an administrator. Once you have got the program running you need to ensure that your mobile phone is turned off and you need to um, connect it to your computer via a USB cable. It is important that the USB cable is plugged into the rear of your computer rather than the front of your computer as the rear USB port some um, output more power. So once um, you have plugged the device in and it's turned off you need to sort of put it into download mode. Um, I'm just going to need to put the camera down for a second. So you need to hold down the volume down button, the home button and the power button all at the same time. So just to quickly go over that, you need to hold down the volume down, home and power all simultaneously. You are then going to be presented with this um, screen warning you about custom operating systems and you are going to have to um, press the volume up key to continue. So you are going to have this screen on your device. Once this screen is up on your device, um, you will probably notice that um, you know, the device's um, drivers are currently being installed on your computer. This might take a minute or two. As you can see, it's currently trying to install the drivers for this device. Um, and if you, um, if it is unable to find the drivers, you're going to need to install Samsung Kai's onto the computer because that has a lot of the um, Samsung drivers included with the software. So it's installed one of the drivers, it's now installing another one of the drivers. Okay, and now both of the drivers have been installed. And when all of the drivers are installed, you should see um, this sort of light up blue, CCOM3. Um, now what we need to do is we need to navigate to the file in the um, other zip file you extracted. So you should have extracted, um, yeah, you should have extracted this folder and you're going to have a file ending in .md5. So what you're basically going to need to do is you're going to need to click PDA inside of Odin and you're going to need to navigate to that folder and select that file. So this is um, very simple. You only need to select the PDA file. You do not need to change anything else. Um, definitely do not play around with the settings over here. And then it's simply a matter of clicking start. If the program ever um, stops responding, like it's not responding now, just leave the computer. Don't, you know, muck around with the program. Just walk away for five minutes and come back and it should be done. Um, you know, Odin has a habit of not responding, then fixing itself straight away. Okay, now you can see it is responding again. And if you want to pay attention to what is um, happening, you can sort of read the messages down below here. It will tell you, you know, what it's flashing at the moment. It is um, basically flashing system.image and you sort of have your overall progress bar here. Um, it typically takes, you know, roughly five minutes to um, flash your device using Odin. And you won't really see much happening on the device's screen apart from, you know, that blue loading bar.
Okay, so all of the images have um, almost been flashed on the device now. System, boot.image, uh, cache.image, hidden.image. So the device um, should restart in a minute. And as you can see, it is saying pass. And the device has now turned itself off and is in the process of restarting itself. If you already had um, ice cream sandwich on your device, then all of your files and folders should still be there. As you can see, you aren't presented with the um, initial setup menu when you first set up your phone. So if you had any apps or data, etc., they should um, still be there. Now let's go into settings. Um, as soon as you go into settings, you might notice that um, the menu looks a little bit different. And the notification menu looks a little bit different too after the new um, Jelly Bean update. So let's scroll right down to the bottom about device. And now, as you can see, you have Android version 4.1.1. And um, it appears to be pretty stable. I currently have a Telstra SIM card inserted into the device. You know, five bars, HSPA plus data. <clears throat> so that is pretty much it for this um, video. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask me. You may have also um, noticed on the XGA developers webpage, um, you know, how to change the CSC file. Um, you know, you don't have to do this step. It's not really necessary. Um, this is just about, um, you know, it basically um, changing the CSC is basically changing the device's region to say um, a device is from Europe, Australia, etc and it can affect um, the different apps which you know can be downloaded um, you know from the Samsung App Store etc it's not really necessary so yeah that is it for this video um, thanks for watching and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below